Hey folks, Lorik Elf here. What I'm doing today is uh, laying out some of my uh, collection, like toy more wise collection stuff. Um, action figures, things like that. Um, a lot of history with a lot of this stuff. Fortunately, a lot of stuff, uh, you know, that's older, I actually got when I was little, so that's always cool. Um, I guess I'll start at the bottom here. <clears throat> a lot of you guys are probably familiar with the uh, Muscle characters. There was a Nintendo game called Muscle. But I don't even think that I've played that myself. Uh, I know it's pretty crappy, but um, definitely love the figures as a kid. If you can make them out there. They just had all kinds of crazy different guys. Um, like this one, for instance. You know, his head was like a wrecking ball kind of thing. And uh, some of them were kind of weird. Here's one I always kind of liked. It's just like a big tower. I'd say like the middle was a, a laser, you know, being little, playing with the things. Um, <laughs> so stationary but powerful um, you know just lots of weird different theme guys I think this was like one of the main guys from the uh, the Japanese comic or whatever really started it but I don't know there's quite a few there's one really rare one that I don't have called uh, Satan Cross that actually had two pieces to it one was like a back and evidently they released some of them in the US um, without the back so that's kind of neat but yeah there's the muscles already a minute and a half on those alone so hopefully if you like them you got a good view um now just going to some other stuff here's the uh galley on the the bad guy in lunar with the uh sock puppet thing you see those around on ebay a lot i love you know the lunar series working design so i had that these are kind of interesting um back in the day like uh, 1990s, 93, 94, 95, whatever. Um, they had like uh, everything's a dollar store, and I ended up getting these there. It might have been a little earlier than that even, but um, you know, four different Zeldas. They have gum in them. They still all have the gum in them. But I've had those for years. <laughs> also, at that same store, I used to buy boxes of those old Mario cards they had for a dollar a piece. It was awesome. Um, here's some turtles, actually those four I got from Scuba Diver Picker. I just had to throw them with the rest. These are the only turtles I really have on me. I have some back in Kansas uh, that I grew up with, but these are just some, you know, I guess McDonald's uh, ones they have. So pretty cool. Uh, here's Fujiko. Kind of like the Fujiko chick in the, uh, um, for, almost forgot the name of it there. Lupin the Third. <laughs> There's Lupin and Goyman. Little figures too. Um, but here we got some Venom stuff. There's a big Spider-Man 3 Venom, which I don't like him as much as the comic book Venoms. Um, little mini Venom, mini Spider-Man. Venom that uh, flicks his tongue. Bride of Venom. Pretty cool. These are all in pretty good shape. Some kind of a web splasher, water shooter venom. Uh, alien liquid venom. Looks like that's from the same series as the uh, flicking tongue. <laughs> but, oh, there's a panda turtle. I used to always love that guy. I don't even remember him from the comics or the, I mean, the uh, show is what I saw mainly, but it's pretty tight. It's unpunched, really slick looking. I think I paid a full 25 or something like that for it, but just, you know, I don't want to get a whole lot of box TMNT unless I find them just super cheap, but I wanted to get, like, maybe one or two of my favorites. This one's kind of uh, weird. One of those guys you get in the water when they grow. <laughs> but this one here I wanted to show. I remember a friend of mine had this back in the day. And it talks, and I guess, from what I remember, they banned it for a while, because he says, I want to eat your brains or something. But that's pretty tight. It's unpunched as well. I think, yeah, I guess on top it can talk. So I guess I'm pressing the right button. I thought it was just one button for a second. So that's pretty tight. <laughs> so this would have been probably... Not, yeah, this is 91 or whatever, so pretty slick. The battery still works. Um, moving up here, I'm going to try to speed up. I got some uh, Star Wars Micro Machines. There's Millennium Falcon. And these are pretty popular. 
I just got some that had, you know, some of my favorite uh, vehicles and whatever on it, like the ATAT -AT or whatever. X Wing, the Walker. You know, having the Millennium Falcon there with the X Wing and stuff all in one pack. It's a pretty sweet pack there. And, uh, you know, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter and the Walker, like I said. Pretty sweet. Um, here's a couple of soldiers from the KB I got these at when they were going out of business. Seth MacFarlane made these, but pretty cool. You know, they have a pretty sweet looking accessories. Um, there's uh, Transformers. Here's Rob. He's missing, I think, the sunglasses. One of the gyros and the little claw hands. I really don't think I have those. Um, so, either looking for that or looking for a cheap, complete one. Sometime, maybe. <laughs> But here's, uh, if you saw my other video of toys that were on my desk, here's some boxes of some of that stuff. Had the 25th anniversary uh, Optimus Prime, but my daughter actually tore up the box. But there's a comic that came with it, and that card, I don't know if it came with it or not. But There's a Pikachu Pokemon ball from the gas station, or I mean from uh, Burger King, I think that actually came from. So, moving right along. I'll get these out of the way. Here's uh, Andy Kaufman and Jerry Lawler <laughs> figures. These I got kind of recently. Just I like Andy Kaufman. He's a, the man. So uh, just since they made some figures of them, I wanted to get them. His accessory in both of these is the stretcher. So kind of funny. Um, Astro Boy that does stuff. Um, one of these doesn't work, but the other two do. Let me see here. Hey, this one don't work. Nice. Yeah, hopefully this is the only one that don't work. But that's the one with the arm cannon. Here's the one. If I can figure out what to press here, this is embarrassing. Hmm. Okay, there we go. I knew I was doing something wrong. I th see, each one had like a try me in the back, so I thought I had to press it, but that's just where you pull out the uh, cord thing I see to actually let the battery make contact now. But there's the arm, the glowing arm, if you can see that. <laughs> and uh, this one, searchlight, which it don't work. I don't know what it was uh, that lit up, actually, maybe this whole body. And this one, rocket boot. Astro, that one you probably can barely see it, but it lights up. So, moving on to the last of it here. There's some more boxes of the stuff I already have on my desk. Um, but here's some Transformers from the, uh, you know, Dark of the Moon movie. If anybody's interested in these, I actually picked them all up at once, and I'm not against the trading or selling. Even quite a bit of this stuff, really. Just kind of want to thin down at least a little bit. Autobot skids. There's an Optimus Prime, some Walmart exclusive, or one of these is some kind of Walmart exclusive. But you know, changing one piece of plastic to make a little difference not probably that <laughs> important. Doesn't make that special. Hailstorm. I, I think I picked that one up uh, outside of the movie. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Um. This one looked cool. I have uh, some of the Star... What's his name? Star Scream. That has like multiple uh, shots with the, his uh, guns. But this one had eight shots, so there's six in there. And two more down there, so... I might even open that one up. I just was like, oh, that's awesome. Eight separate firing missiles. I assume they're all separate firing, but... Finishing up, there's a Star Scream. From the movie Autobot Ratchet. Skids, Prime, Bumblebee, Bumblebee, Prime, Roadbuster, Jolt. And I guess just to make sure I got them all one last time over here. Optimus Prime with the armored platform. Uh, Skyhammer. And finally, Optimus Prime and Ratchet versus Crankcase. Looks like he has that same platform as he did in the uh, this one here, so that's pretty cool. But yeah. Anyways, uh, just wanted to show I do do something besides 
video games and the occasional magic card, I guess. I, I'm all aspects of the nerd culture, supposedly, here. But, uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. If you like anything or have any Venom figures or something else you see I collect that you think I might want to trade for, I, you know, I'm up for trading some of this stuff and some games and whatever else, so probably put those pictures on my Facebook page so you guys can comment on them if you would like to do anything along those lines, but still in the works. Thanks again for watching, as I said. See you guys later.